Hari. Today I'm going to read you a special book titled Henry Says Writes Well. Do you know why this book is so special? Because it was written by the students of Templin Junior College. Their names are Nyla, Shirin, and Rujin. Illustrated by Sarjana and Dalila. This story is all about that Henry moves into a new neighborhood called Brightsville. But this town is not what he expected. Unkind acts, gloomy weather, and unfriendly neighbors. Let's see if Henry can share his happiness with the people of Brightsville. So let's start the story. This is the town of Brightsville. Except this town isn't really all that bright. One day, Henry and his family move into Brightsville. They unpack, they arrange, and they clean all afternoon. But all Henry wanted to do is to go out and play. Henry asks, can I go to the playground now? His mother replies, sure honey. Henry runs to his bedroom and grabs his favorite toy. But something at the corner of his eye catches his attention. Do you know what is it? It was a girl holding a broken toy. So sad, right? But suddenly, Henry got an idea. He grabs Singa and says, Aha! Uh -huh. Henry runs down the stairs at the speed of lightning. He says to the girl, I saw your broken toy. Do you want to play with mine instead? That's a kind of him. Ever since then, Henry and Lola are inseparable. Lola was the name of the girl who had the broken toy. One day, Henry invites Lola over for lunch. Henry notices his neighbor, Mr. Jeremy, and waves. But Mr. Jeremy simply walks away. After lunch, Henry and Lola go to play a game. They see a group of boys. Henry invites them to play, but they seem unfriendly. They are jealous of Henry's toys. So they turn their back and walk away. Suddenly, they hear a loud thud and see next city fall to the ground. Henry and Lola come to her rescue in no time. Next city says, thank you. They look around and see that everyone had ignored next city when she fell. Next city says, Lola, everyone here is so unkind. We need to do something. Lola and Henry talk about the matter. Suddenly, they have an idea. They say, Mission! Save Brightsville! Henry and Lola gather up all their toys and they go to the boys and say, Come on, let's all play together. So Henry and Lola share their toys with their newfound friends. With smiles on their faces, they play all afternoon. But they did not forget about Mr. Jeremy. Ding dong! They ring the doorbell. Henry says, Mr. Jeremy, we bought some goodies for you. They enjoy some piping hot cookies together. Every weekend, Henry and Lola accompany Next City to the supermarket. They even have fun picnics together. From then on, the friendly neighbors of Brightsville lived happily ever after. The end. So long did we learn from this story. It's to be friendly and kind to everyone, our friends or neighbors. We should thank Naila, Shirin, Rujin, Sajana and Dalila for teaching us all these kind things. 
So let's all be kind to everyone who we see. Now, let's sing a song with Singa. One, two, three. Kindness, kindness, oh, whenever you find this, you will see the world a better place. Kindness, kindness, oh, whenever you try this, you could bring a smile to someone's face. Well, it doesn't take much. It doesn't take long. No, it doesn't cost a thing. And there's no way to do it wrong. You could do it anytime. You could plant it where you want. You could grow it in your heart. And give it out to everyone. Boom, boom, boom. Kindness, kindness. Oh, whenever you find this, you will see the world's a better place. Kindness. Kindness, oh, whenever you try this, you could bring a smile to someone's face. So let's all be kind to everyone. Then we live a happy life together. Bye-bye. See you next video. Do subscribe to my channel. Like this video. And don't forget to write.